CyberGhost is one of the most beginner-friendly VPNs, but that doesn't mean you can't use a tutorial to get it started. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the installation, setup, and share some tips and tricks for the best CyberGhost tutorial experience 2025 possible. Now, before we jump into the CyberGhost tutorial, let's see if it's as friendly to your wallet as it is to beginners. So looking strictly at pricing, CyberGhost is one of the more affordable VPN options. And it may be the cheapest if you consider the biannual plan. Thanks to the simultaneous connections, you can share one account with seven people. So it's a good value, but you can make it even better with a discount. Check the link in the description or this QR code to get the best CyberGhost deal. Okay, let's get to the CyberGhost VPN guide, starting with installation and setup. If you're installing on Windows, you're gonna have to download the installer, double click it, and follow the magic advice of the installation wizard. You know, the usual. Mac OS, iOS, and Android users will also follow their usual process, getting the app from their respective app store with one click. Keep in mind, this will be mostly a CyberGhost tutorial on Windows, but I will mention all the important distinctions between versions along the way. All right, regardless of where you get the app, once you open it, you're gonna be greeted with similar layouts and visuals. CyberGhost UI is not stunning, but it gets the job done. Even as a first time user, I had no trouble navigating through menus and setting up important features. And that was years ago. Today, CyberGhost is a much more nuanced and streamlined application down to the instantly recognizable quick connect button, which you can use to instantly connect to the quickest and closest server possible. After this initial CyberGhost setup, let's look beyond the quick connect since it's far from the only way to connect to a server. There are CyberGhost servers in more than 100 countries. Too bad it no longer mentions how many servers it offers. But while you are in the All Servers tab, the app shows the distance between you and the server you're connected to. For instance, Quick Connect gave me a really close server, but a server somewhere in Japan would be much further, affecting my connection speed as well. Now, one way to ensure you always have the fastest speed is to pick an optimal VPN protocol. Located in Settings, the VPN Protocol tab gives you a fair choice of options. This choice is a bit different between operating systems, but the most important part is that WireGuard is available. It's the fastest VPN protocol in CyberGhost's arsenal. That said, if you have frequent disconnects or other signs of network instability, switching to Ikey V2 or OpenVPN should help as they are longer standing and stable protocols. Now let's go back to the server list now since there's a bit more to cover here. For instance, specialized servers. CyberGhost has a few of those, torrenting, streaming, and gaming servers, each optimized for a particular activity. Additionally, torrenting servers are located in countries where P2P is not demonized, and each streaming server is specialized for specific streaming service. Just keep in mind that gaming servers are not available on Mac. Not that anyone uses Mac for gaming, of course. Now, besides the specialized servers, I often use NoSpy servers. Those are entirely managed by CyberGhost and are located in their HQ in Romania. Not only are they more secure, but I also consider them the best P2P option due to privacy benefits. It is too bad that they are unavailable for users with monthly subscriptions. Only long-term plans provide access to NoSpy servers. Now, a dedicated IP is another server option worth mentioning, but not always worth getting. Okay? This is a static IP that is only available to you, which is why it costs extra. Unless you wanna access some kind of resource that blocks multiple accesses from one IP or blacklists VPN IPs, a dedicated IP is not a must have. But if you do decide to get it, remember that you can save on CyberGhost purchases with my discount. Check the link in the description to get the best deal. All right, moving past the server configuration, let's jump into privacy settings. I use a lot of features here daily. This is a built-in ad blocker, which doesn't just remove visual annoyances, but also detects tracking links and malicious websites. I recommend you enable this feature and keep it on at all times. It filters a lot of stuff and is just very useful in general. Next is DNS leak protection. Yet another feature that should be on regardless of what you're doing. Now, since CyberGhost has a no logs policy, it doesn't gather or leak your data. 
but improper network configuration can still lead to DNS leaks, so this feature is crucial for preventing it. Now, similarly, Kill Switch exists to block all internet traffic if it detects a VPN connection breaking. This protects me from revealing my IP address and potentially other sensitive information until the connection issue is resolved. This feature is always enabled by default. Now, I don't recommend turning it off, nor is there any reason to, so keep that in mind. Now, amongst CyberGhost VPN features, smart rules are like a set of decisions that you can enforce in the app. For instance, which server should you connect to automatically once you launch the app? Should the app launch alongside the system? These are launch rules that you can configure at any point. Wi-Fi protection rules require a different kind of decision. Should CyberGhost automatically connect to a server upon detecting an unsecured Wi-Fi connection? Let's say you're on a trip or working from a coffee shop. Split tunneling is also in the same category, a feature I use to set up exceptions. For instance, the banking app on my phone really doesn't like it when I'm trying to access it from a country on the other side of the globe while my geolocation is at home. So if I add this app to my exceptions list, voila, no longer will VPN affect the app or the app ask me questions. Just keep in mind, this feature is not available on Mac. Man, Apple users just can't catch a break. Not with Apple banning all those neat features for no reason. Now, of course, you can also dig deeper into app rules and have more detailed configurations for specific apps. Feel free to play around with them and figure out what makes more sense for you. And with that, you know how to use CyberGhost. As you can see, it does lack really complicated, advanced features most market leaders do try to advertise, but that's what makes CyberGhost for beginners such a perfect option. CyberGhost is simple, straightforward, and includes clear written explanations for every feature in the app. If you still have questions or want me to do a follow-up review, let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you will pick up CyberGhost, the discount link in the description or on the screen right now provides the best value. All right, stay safe online, everybody. I'll see you soon with another video. Cheers.